What's up YouTube, FB Aftermath here with another YouTube video from you guys. Today we are training legs. Now not just fool around leg workout, we are specifically hitting the backside, um, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. Yes, calves, I don't train calves often, I know. You guys always ask me, Teron, how do you get your calves? I don't do much just because of how I was brought up. You know, I'm a tiptoe walker, I walk on my tiptoes. So I'm like constantly doing calf raises as I walk, you know, and um, pretty much she was genetically gifted because of my mother. She has big calves as well. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, this is the program to get bigger calves and stuff. You know, that's just not how I do things. I'm not gonna make something up for you guys. I know how to develop calves, yes, but when it comes to just all out super bodybuilding, growing some huge, monstrous calves i i don't know what to tell you and i don't think there's anybody out there that knows what to tell you also because people are out there have done many many types of exercises to build huge calves instead of just building a monster monster sized calves some some steve Kluko type stuff i don't think i could do that i mean i guess i could if i like really wanted to but i don't want to you know having big calves is a pain in the ass but that being said let's get to the video like this video already because that's how YouTube works. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you watch the whole video. All right, let's get it. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. All right, so starting out, we have some hamstring curls, about four to five sets. We're going to, uh, so usually I was doing the three sets, now we're doing four to five sets of about 12 to 15 rep range uh, for hamstring curls. I like to do these before I get into the squats um, just because, hold on, I got some sound in. Oh, it's on this side. Uh -huh, my headphones are backwards. Just because um, I like my squats to feel like full, my hamstrings to feel full when I squat, it has, uh, has me feel like I have more control and tightness when I'm doing squats and also it's just good to help separate the feeling from my glutes and my hamstring activation uh, which is a problem amongst a lot of athletes and I've said this before on my channel um, so we're starting it out once again four or five sets uh, 12 to 15 reps of hamstring curls medium heavy sets I think I have about 145 pounds I'm using right now uh, for this a tight squeeze um, at the top position the concentric um, uh, tops tight squeeze at the top position um, and then we're going to move on to what I like to do um, to finish off my hamstring curls is partials a very small range of motion and we're going to keep that same weight sometimes even more and we're going to go about double the reps that we just did before um, here I'm only doing 20 reps uh, so we're going to do this for three sets, 20 reps, um, to continue on throughout the workout before we hit the squats. All right, so now we're hitting the squats. So I did box squats. Um, the reason why I did box squats is because when I try to go wide stance and hit my glutes a little bit more when I squat, I tend to go too low and it pains my hips a lot. I have tight hips, so the box squats help me keep um, help me keep myself in a range of motion that doesn't bother me. And also, it kind of gives me um, a sense of confidence because I know I have some something to stop me um, from going down too low when the weights get heavier. Now we're doing about a pyramid set, which I love, you know, from um, 15 to 12, 10, eight, six reps. I'm not sure how much weight I went up today. I think I even went up to a three rep, um, just to, you know, just to kind of get the energy flowing uh, for myself. Cause a lot of times with this bodybuilder training, I personally just kind of mentally lose it. Cause you know, you're chasing that pump that muscle growth and not really moving heavy amount of weight and uh, mentally sometimes I just need to lift some weight just to make make it seem like I'm really doing something for myself because uh, I'm, I'm, I don't train like a bodybuilder um, anymore um, except for these 30 days so as you'll see also 
at, as we get to the end of these 30 days, I'm transitioning into more of a power building state to get ready for the uh, power lifting that I'll be doing for the next 30 days. Um, now I will be creating a program with all the videos that I've put out for the 30 days of, of bodybuilding. And I'll be putting it on my website for free for you guys to go to. Um, that will be attached to each video so you can watch, you know, along with the video and have the program as well. Once again, for free for all of you guys, you know, as a thank you to all the likes and subscriptions. And, you know, just, <laughs> we got to help each other out. You know what I'm saying? We got to help each other out. But after the squats, we moved on to some straight leg deadlifts. Um, so with these, you don't touch the floor. You keep the tension fully and you slide. It's a soft lockout um, for the knees. Your knees do not actually, aren't actually straight. It's, it's a slight bend in the knees, all right? I know a lot of people, I've, I've been asked um, in the past from doing straight legs, do you like really just lock out your knees and keep it straight? No, it's a soft bend in the knees. Go from right here, it's a soft bend. You can see that difference? Soft bend. Boom, soft bend. And then go down and do your repetitions. Um, that way you don't tear something because you know this is something that could really injure you uh, if you're not careful. Um, so moving on, now we're finally hitting those calves. I like to do the standing calf raises. I only do four or five sets, 12 reps, as heavy as I can. As you see, the full amount of plates is loaded on the uh, machine and that's as much as I can pretty much do. I think it was like 300 pounds, I think. Yeah, 300 pounds um, that I did for the standing calf raises. Um, and this pretty much builds that outer that a nice outer area, make it your calves a little bit more rounded on the outer side. And then the seated hits the, the inner side, that big ball that you see in your calves. The seated calf races hits that, that bigger ball uh, for your calves. Uh, once again, four or five sets, 12 reps, as heavy as possible. I do calves as, calves as heavy as possible. And only do I only did two movements. So right after this, we did the single leg um, calf raises on the uh, hack squat machine. Single leg, 12 reps. Um, and I think you have to focus on doing a lot of single joint movements, um, just because we tend to have our stronger side carry over from everything. So when my right side is my stronger side. Actually, I think my left side is my stronger side. Anyways, left side, right side, stronger side, it kind of takes over and takes weight off of your weaker side um, if you're not, you know, doing both things balanced. It's all about balance right here. You just kind of want to keep that going. Um, I even hit some bench today. I was like, you know what, let me hit some incline bench press. I don't know why I was bored. I was waiting for babe to be done. So I was like, all right, let me hit this up, you know what I'm saying, real quick. Show the gym a little something. Uh, uh. So I only did like four sets. I did a set of 15, did a set of 10, um, eight, and then I did a set of uh, five, I believe. Went all the way up to 315. I don't do incline enough to be trying to do 315, but here I am doing 315 right now. Can I get 405 right now? I don't know. Comment below if I can get 405. I think I can get 405 for like three reps in a, in a really good spotter that won't touch my weight, possibly, but I mean, that's really the video, man. That's it. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Once again, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. Catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Shinobu Senpai. I might change the name back to FBS, man. I'm not sure. I'm like up and down about it. And uh, one last thing. One last thing. Me and Babe are making a YouTube channel. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.